Hello everyone. Welcome to Sign One News. I'm Sign One News anchor Christopher D. Johnson. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment about this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. It is official. The National Board of Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, SAG-AFTRA, voted to go on strike today. The strike will cause an historic breakdown of the entertainment world. And the standoff between the union, representing roughly 160,000 actors, performers, and media professionals, is going to play out like a movie script from a Hollywood drama. The actors were fighting for items like pensions, health care contributions, and additional payments when the shows they appear in air on streaming services. They've also been leery about studios using artificial intelligence in their productions instead of actors. At a press conference announcing the strike, SAG after president Fran Drescher passionately said the main issue was not just money, but respecting the men and women who make up the entertainment industry. Please note, you will see an American Sign Language interpreter at the press conference but he was standing near the back, so a few signs may be blocked. Captioning is also provided. Industry experts say the financial blow of the strike could be a $3 million a day loss to the Los Angeles economy. The last time actors held a strike against TV and movie productions was in 1980. We want to warn you the images in this story are graphic and may be disturbing to some viewers. The Orlando Police Department has released the body camera video showing the fatal shooting of 26-year-old Derek Diaz. It happened on July 3rd, just before 2 a.m. The video shows Diaz sitting in his parked car when he is approached by several police officers. The officer on the driver's side of the car briefly questions Diaz about opening his door and telling him to put his hands on the steering wheel. Diaz complies. 
Then he reaches his right hand toward the vehicle's center console. And that's when the officer fires what sounds like a single shot. Again, we want to warn you, the video may be disturbing to some viewers. The entire shooting incident happened in less than one minute. Police say the officers rendered aid and Diaz was later pronounced dead at the hospital. In a statement, an attorney for the Diaz family says the video, quote, left more questions than answers. Investigators did not find a gun in the vehicle. The officer who shot Diaz has been placed on administrative leave. The shooting is now being investigated by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. It's just July and 2023 is already breaking records with the soaring heat. In Phoenix, it's been 13 straight days of temperatures above 110 degrees. And forecasters are warning temps could soar even higher through the end of the week. And it's not just Arizona. Tens of millions of Americans face dangerous triple digit temperatures this weekend. From South Florida to California, more than 55 million Americans are bracing for temperatures at or above 100 degrees this weekend. Making 2023 a year for the record books, but for all the wrong reasons. Nearly 5 million children in eight states could lose extra funds for food unless their state officials sign up for a federal relief program by tomorrow, Friday. It's called the Pandemic Electronic Benefits Transfer Program or PEBT. It provides $120 over the summer to families whose kids qualify for free or reduced price meals or attend schools in low income areas where all students get free meals. The vast majority of states in the country are participating in the program this summer. However, Alaska, Idaho, Montana, Mississippi, Missouri, New Hampshire, South Dakota, and Texas have yet to join. The funding is crucial for a lot of families. Many of them depend on free or reduced price breakfast and lunch programs during the school year. But only about one in seven eligible kids receive meals over the summer. Tech mogul Elon Musk is launching a new company called XAI. He already owns several other companies, including Twitter, Tesla, and SpaceX. 
According to the XAI website, it focuses on artificial intelligence with the goal of understanding the true nature of the universe. And that's it. There isn't much more information out there about the company except the profiles of 12 staffers. Tech experts say, here's why this announcement is a little confusing. Just three months ago, Musk gave an interview in which he warned that artificial intelligence could lead to, quote, civilization destruction. And he joined other tech leaders in calling for a six month pause in the race for AI development. Hmm, interesting. Chipotle is testing a robot to help make guacamole. It's called the Autocado. Here's how it works. You load up to 25 pounds of avocados into the machine. One by one, the machine slices the fruit open, takes off the skin, removes the core, and places the avocado flesh in a bowl. Then an actual person takes over, adding the other ingredients and hand mashing it to make guacamole. The avocado could cut guac prep time in half. And that's a big deal when you consider Chipotle uses 100 million pounds of avocados each year. Oh, by the way, Chipotle is also testing Chippy. That's a robot that helps make tortilla chips. The famous donut company Krispy Kreme was founded in 1937. Vernon Rudolph started out selling donuts to grocery stores. Pretty soon, the irresistible donut scent wafting into the streets had passersby asking if they could buy the donuts themselves. So Rudolph launched an operation selling directly to the public. That was 86 years ago. Since then, the hot, sweet, glazed treat has become a dessert icon over the years. To celebrate his 86th birthday, Krispy Kreme is offering a sweet deal for customers this Friday, July 14th. They are offering 86 cent original glazed donuts with the purchase of any dozen at regular price. So you buy 12 and you get the donut for 86 cents. So hurry. Make sure you get them while the offer lasts. And that's it for today. Sign One News will be broadcasting updates Monday through Friday. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. But if you prefer to watch on an iPad, laptop, or television, you can watch on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku. Take care.